so if you really want to get better in terms of your industries i think you always have to emphasize on the not to b2b and b2c it is more about s to s human to human namaskar i welcome you all in city life dialogues as you know we are talking to our associates our teammates on the occasion of event managers day today i am very happy to introduce you a very senior personality of hotel and tourism industry is here to talk to us i would love to introduce mr ashok rathor right now he is uh, here in jaipur as general manager hotel rambagh palace which is pride of the nation pride of the rajasthan worldwide and i am again feeling very nice to mention that he is the man who's who has spent uh, around four decades in this industry and he is known as the forecaster of the industry so it is a nice time Let's have a word with Mr. Ashok Rathor. Welcome, sir. Good evening, Mr. Bhai. Uh, I would like to start. आपने इस पूरी इंडस्ट्री को मूव करते हुए देखा है, करवट लेते हुए देखा है, वरना पहले हम देखा करते थे कि सिर्फ होटल्स ही सब कुछ कर लिया करते थे, ट्रैवल इंडस्ट्री, इवेंट इंडस्ट्री और होटल इंडस्ट्री के बीच में एक दूरियां होती थी। तो आपने इसे पूरा करवट लेते हुए देखा है। तो आप थोड़ा सा इस पे रोशनी डालें कि किस तरीके से इंडस्ट्री ने ग्रो किया है और आज हम जिस मुकाम पे हैं वहाँ तक आने में कितना लंबा सफर हमने तय किया है। So काफी it has been long journey what I've seen in last almost about three decades and plus plus a lot of transformations which happened. So we've seen there was a time the hotel used to organize you know larger function like we have which is started in Rajasthan is about Rajput wedding and we used to do quite often you know the palaces and that has lived his life because though the period of time the things become more repetitive and it become more predictable so there was no excitement in everything's what we're doing it and since they were lacking the newness or with the less innovation, therefore we moved towards the events company. Whether you are the food, a service, presentation, getting the right ambience, having a proper grooming, hygiene. But I give a credit for all the event company it is that they have evolved, okay. And they taken the entire journey is one, fair, one step forward. In terms of if you say that a creating a memorable experience. There was a time the hoteliers got stuck only providing a, a service. And there's a lot of difference between providing a service and, you know, creating an experience. Uh, I see the lot of the, it is getting better. And uh, one of the reasons, because the people can afford now, okay. And especially if you see the generation millennials, they want to leave it for today. They change in lifestyle because the people also, uh, they don't want to leave for the next seven generations. Exactly. Okay. So I, I feel that overall, and this is how the industry has been evolved, all right, is getting better and better as we move forward. We always try to make things best and it is getting better only. So my next question is basically coming from your last line, how we, we can make it best, better we are doing. You, you, you told just now, 
how we can uh, start towards best so i would say that you know first of all my piece of advice it i think the mistake we what we made okay uh, i think you should learn from it there was a time that we were the best uh, the expert in our area and over the period of time we were started giving giving outsourced you know lot of other things also uh thing started from b2c then it moved to b2b business to business and now way we coming back is s to s and that we call the human to human uh so if you really want to get better in terms of your industries i think you always have to emphasize on the not to b2b and b2c it is more about s to s human to human uh and i'll give the reason for it because somebody who's coming for the any event like say about example of wedding now the world is moving from local to global and from global to local and as you know because the people are traveling quite often getting married okay so we see the enough diversity which is there in the world so which means the bride side from india and groom side from korea now it's a challenge for you exactly okay to cater to different okay uh, a nationality different preferences and i can see the trend is catching up because what i've seen it last about in about 4 5 years and uh, each one is different and even for them both the parties to you know come together and to celebrate occasions because each one is a peculiar you know the lifestyles one want different food other want okay a different beverages also so each one is a different priorities so if we event company has to do it better i think some of the things they have to focus is the focus is very clear is as we know that world is moving to which a sustainability which means a function we do it and i can see some of the places the event company also i think there enough garbage being created on the next day so if we can focus on more environmental friendly okay i think more appreciation will come to you okay and this is the mistake we made it okay there were time that you know a plastic uses we were doing it uh how do you want to recycle the food even after the events okay so if you really want to get better okay there's the couple of ways so one is if you really want to edge across everybody i think you have to get the element of sustainability which i'll explain you why because today everybody is when people who comes for the wedding is and they feel is quite expensive you can reduce the cost because when you creating and do not say the price factor but you're saying that you know all you want to which is appreciate the nature all right and when you want to create something around the nature of course the cost will come down because okay. the nature will be complementing that of course and as as i see the lot of people is also like i have seen it uh, ad which is sabya sachi done in sicily and uh, a mandap he created because it's it's island and you can't you know get the garbage there or i think you can create the garbage also whatever the resources were there he just created mandap and i think and i've seen read the article on content arts and a lot of appreciation which came he said so one of the reasons like more and more people and everybody want to appreciate you know what you do it for environments that one learning i think you should take it so if you become the environmental conscious you will create a win win situation for the both the parties okay yeah uh, the other thing is our uh, technology of course is helping us uh, people want instant graf- gratification so instagram okay 
you know, people before they eat the food, take the picture. You know, before they, they actually, you know, enjoy it, they want to celebrate before that also. So, it's, it's, a, it's a world moving, it's online, everything. If you can do more on virtual experience, so what is happening, I'll give an example of, if you organize a wedding, and you will say the people who left behind, who were not able to attend the wedding, and through the technology also, if you can give those same experience, the live, like even Instagram, if I have some function which is happening in, and if I give a live streaming, one can see. One, one can life. see. So all I have to do, I think as an event, you also have to embrace the technologies. Because the people who left behind, or maybe have some elderly people in the families, for certain reason they cannot travel. All right. I think, so therefore I'm saying as to as, human to human. And if you keep that element in mind, I'm sure it will help you. Definitely, very, very useful uh, tips given by you. Uh, one more thing. Uh, there is a, now I am coming to the business, now I am coming to uh, my industry. What is the uh, thing, as you said, that you have started taking, when you find that uh, monotony is there, things are going similar, you have started taking help of event companies. So, uh, I would like to know your any of your experience, it is random, uh, which which you remember with uh, any of the event company which is uh, which has given you a good very good impression about the events about the event management companies about our industry see uh, i think uh, i think during my tenure I, i've seen a lot of event okay uh, i worked in india and i also worked in uh, international you know, most memorable, without naming it, I would say that event company is, uh, which you have, you know, like something called a test seat approval, you know, which the both the party understand unspoken language better than spoken one. So, starting from the day one, uh, it is, you know, how do you plan and get your people in the board inside? Because the security is a big threat, as we know, in today's world also. And hotel wants to ensure that you know safety and security is very important because something goes wrong, the onus is on hotel also. So I've seen a lot of good event companies, you know, they've been ensuring the retention of staff, or even the staff they're sending it, they ensure that they have done enough okay, security check. I think that's the one which I've seen a lot of a good event company. The other thing is you know, like especially when you do some event in heritage property, you know, without disturbing or destroying, or like the look and feel of the properties also. Very important. And I think that's the best when I've seen it also. Because when, when you're coming some in palace property and you want to put huge structure, there are no points to come to in palace property. So, I've seen the good event company, I think when they come there, they always consider those facts in mind. Uh, of course, we have the certain uh, guidelines in terms of, you know, certain hour you can play the music beyond, you cannot, all right. So, the lot of things which you're selling about, I think that's the event company, and I see the event company, it is a relationship is more about, okay. We've been working with you from a couple of years. And uh, you know, I will not say I'm a camera, but I, I found you, one of the finest event guys in the industry is you. Thank All you right. so much for the compliment. So this is not an appreciation because you're interviewing me. But, <laughs> uh, but this is where I've seen it. Okay. When I was in JML also, which I've seen it, you know, which is how it was, there was a time it was difficult to do it, but I'm sure through a mutual relationship, Okay, uh, we reached to the point that we started, you know, enjoying the business. Exactly. You know, so the best event I'm saying that you know, which you have the less pain points, all right. And when you less pain point, which means the time you're going to focus on your clients and preparation, all right, you will not do solving those pain points at the last hours. Okay, the nagging issues which will trouble you. So that, yes, I've seen it. Uh, uh, many event, 
in uh, during my tenure, the last one is Jamel, now in the Rambag, all right. And I, I feel the relationship is the key. Okay. And anybody who's having a good relationship, I'm sure it comes a winner. My last question. You are the one who have started supporting event managers day in your initial days. Now more than 50 countries are celebrating it. Now everyone is ready to support it. But you have supported it from the very first time when there was no one. So you you felt something or it was some some kind of, you know, uh, uh, sixth sense within you that we should go with that. What was the reason? I, I always, you know, uh, try to ask you, but this mic and the camera is motivating me to ask you that. See, it's like, uh, you know, everything's work and, you know, it's it better when you have the a relationship. And as I said, I firmly believe when you're in hospitality, okay, and if you do not have the human touch, okay, that's the one. And the other thing is, end of the day, we are in business. Uh, yes, everybody in the business to make money and generate a profit, but I feel the hospitality is all about creating a, a spreading happiness. And I've realized it that you guys are, you know, which only doing the, you know, sp the business of sp creating happiness or spreading happiness. The other thing is, if you see the India, where we got the youngest populations, okay, the people is still a 50% population which is below 35. And I thought that if you really want to grow, you to catch all this guy. <laughs> So, and somewhere I was able to envisage, okay, well on time, and uh, I've realized it that, you know, which is we really have to not survive, but have to thrive, then become, have to become a co-partner with you. So, that was one of the thought. Great, we are, we are, the whole industry is thankful to you, and the whole industry look, you know, at you for that support in a great way. I'm happy to share my thought, and the best wish is, on the events day and especially to our the people at on at the global uh, my best wishes because you guys are doing a fantastic jobs uh, in terms of spreading happiness creating a wonderful memories and you know i think you get less appreciations i know the kind of work which happens okay uh, behind the doors and behind the curtains. So, keep on doing it. And as far as we are concerned, the hospitality, Taj and the Ramba is, we always, they have been supporting the past also. And we will continue. But also at the same time, we also look forward to your support. Thank you, Ashok, sir. It was wonderful talking to you. I have few more questions. But, um, I think we can we can uh, stop it now because it this this topic and this talk is endless and we can we both of we can keep on talking and talking for hours. Thank you so much for giving us times. So guys, very senior person Ashok Rathor has given us tips, and I believe that we'll definitely follow it and we'll try to improve things as he told about the environment, about the energy saving and most important about the innovation. Thank you so much. That's all for us.